Hi, I'm Alan Shearer, and you're watching Mariners TV. Thanks. So, Lee, back to winning the ways. What were your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it's obviously nice, nice feeling. Um, yeah, I think you know one of the major things we took out the, the game, especially on Tuesday night at Hyde, was um, you know just believing in ourselves enough to to, to want to dictate the game, dictate the pace, dictate the tempo. Um, and you know, I thought we did that really well today, really well. Uh, granted, they've had a man sent off you know, towards the back end of the first half, but even before that, I thought you know we looked much more like our usual selves in terms of um, controlling the ball, therefore controlling the game, and uh, we we looked much more structured and, and secure in everything that we were doing. And uh, you know, whether whether it's against ten men or eleven men, uh, to get the end of the game and. And, and for Liam not to have anything of any note really to do during the game is a is, is testament to, to how much we controlled the game. You talked a lot about patience and how you don't have to rush to get the first goal, but to get it just, just before half time, that was really good time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, you know, the timing can can be a factor. You know, it's, there are, there are genuinely sometimes better times to, to score than others. Um, would be nice for our nerves to uh, to have got a second one in the in, in the second half, but wasn't to be. Um, but you know, great for for David to get on the goal on, on the on the goal sheet, and uh, I think hopefully that'll give him a, a, a little bit more confidence to go and uh, keep keep progressing, keep moving forwards, keep opening his le his levels uh, into the games coming up. So yeah, lots and lots of positives all around today. The second half was that, but not trying to force it and just being patient there as well. Yeah, that was a really mature and professional performance versus ten men. Um, you know, if we're going to be ultra critical, we could have. We, we were a little bit wasteful with the ball at times, and could have turned good situations into really good situations. Um, so, you know, we didn't create a great deal in the second half, but at the same time, we it always looked like we had pretty much full control, barring two, two or three minutes here or there. And uh, yeah, so I thought it was a really kind of mature performance from us in the second half. On the back of those two defeats and against a team above us in the league as well, how important was it to get back winning ways today? Yeah, I think just psychologically more than anything else for the for the for the for the players just to you know, hopefully they haven't at any stage stopped believing in themselves, but obviously, you know, results are gonna gonna affect confidence one way or the other. Um so just just for the for the group psychologically to get kind of back on track and just you know, not that we needed to prove it, but just to prove to ourselves again that that we're you know we're more than a match for anybody at this level if we if we get our side of things right. And to welcome back the likes of John Shaw and Phil Turnbull as well. How important was that? Yeah, John was a big one for us. Um, you know we've kept another clean sheet, um, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, you know it, it's always good to, to to look at the bench and and you know and feel like you've got players that can come on and really affect the game for you if, if you need them to. So we're, we're getting there. Gavin's getting closer now, um, and you know there's still a couple of pl players, you know, carrying a couple of knocks and things like that. But generally speaking, we're in a much better situation than what we were two weeks ago. You mentioned our professional performance was as well, and the way that they were trying to sort of wind you up at times as well. The way that you you sort of got through that says a lot about the team today, doesn't it? Yeah, again, we've talked about it. You know, how much energy do we want to waste on? On when teams, you know, use gamesmanship against us, you know, we've got to be channeling our energy in the in the right directions. And I thought, yes, you know, we we were getting frustrated on the sidelines at times, and the players were, which is which is only natural. But I didn't think we got too distracted by it and uh, and, and stuck to our task. Just finally, two more home games this week. It's West Holt and Tons on Tuesday. What do the fans expect going into that game? Do you think? Yeah, we've talked about, you know. Building on 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 the you know the really good things that we've done in today's game, and, and again, you know, trying to establish a bit of momentum as a side. You know, if we put back back wins together, going into the trophy game on Saturday, then then you know that can only be a, that can only be a good thing. So yes, you know, no two ways about it. We'll be we'll be shuffling the pack and, and bringing people in who, who need some need some game time, uh, but at the same time it'll be an exercise and. And hopefully building building confidence as well and and uh, if if we get things right you know we can't we've got to we, we've got to apply ourselves in the right way in the game um, otherwise it can have the opposite effect for us.
and we've just got to make sure that we keep on an upward trend.